Uh, welcome back to VOP this morning. Now, quickly, let's go to entertainment and then sports. I have uh, uh, with me in the studio um, Elster Arimiwem and uh, James Adoye. Well, James is going to take us into the world of sports, but uh, Esther will take us into the world of entertainment. Let's start with entertainment, Esther. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Even if you don't greet me, I'll greet you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning to you. All right. In the world of entertainment, we are going strictly on music. We're going All right, go ahead. Let's music. have it. So, um, John Legend and Christy Tigan welcomes another baby. They welcome that baby number four. Congratulations are in order to John Legend and Christy. The couple announced that they have expanded their family after welcoming their baby by surrogacy. All right, all right. Okay. Congratulations uh, to them. Yeah, they took to their Instagram. The couples took to their Instagram page to announce the celebration. They confirmed it on an Instagram post, giving a lengthy post about um, the birth of their son. Congratulations to both of them. So Moses, if I ask you, what do you think about surrogacy? It's it's okay. It's okay. Uh, you okay. know, we 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 discussed this uh, some some days back. It's okay. In a situation whereby, for whatever medical reason, a woman cannot carry uh, her baby to term, there's absolutely nothing wrong in getting somebody to help you do so. You can do it. Well, there is nothing wrong in getting somebody to help you do so. But can you do it? Can <laughs> it's you do it? It's, pers it's, not, it's not personal now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not personal, but there's absolutely nothing wrong in doing so. Okay. All right then. Okay, next on our story is uh, Madonna, the pop singer. On Saturday, on Saturday June, Madonna developed a serious bacterial infection, which led to SI. So several days stay in the ICU. She was admitted, and, um, and she was admitted because of the bacterial infection she got on Saturday. And ever since she has been in the hospital, but. Um, uh, our, manage, our management have come out to say she's improving, she's doing well, and um, soon she'll be fully on her feet. All right, so we wish we wish Madonna well. We wish her quick recovery. James, now, uh, what, what do you have for, for us in the world of sports? Um, in the world of sports, we have um, the coach of Benden Insurance, on okay. the Odigie. He came out to give a statement that Benden Insurance should only get better. You know, his, his team just came out of a season where they won the Confederations Cup mm. after for three years of no victory or trophy. Mm. He came out to win the Confederations Cup. And he assured the viewers, the team supporters, the club supporters, that the only team will only get better from where they are. And he promised to go back to go back on their end, get more staff, recruit more players for and in preparation for the next season. To come back and come back better, to come back better to play both international and local leagues very well. All right then. They they had a very good season where they where they went to um, 23 matches on beating within the course of the season. After 23 matches, they came to lose to Rivers United to so go to New. So that affected them. And he said he came out to say the fatigue mm. took 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 a toll on them. He took a toll on them and he came out to say, okay, during this course of transfer market, I'll get more players to get more depth in the team. So something like that, such cases will not happen again. Okay. Uh, moving to the second story, um, we have a late legend, a legend of us, of, um, of Nigeria, Jerry Okorududu. He dies at the age of 64. Okorududu was having hospitalized in Okorududu, a hospital in Okorududu, where he had, um, he had, he had um, um, diabetes and diabetes, diabetes and oh it, it led to them needing to amputate his leg. Oh my! Oh my! According uh, to the story, he didn't get help. He didn't get assistance. He didn't from, get help from anywhere. from anywhere. Both the state government and um, his boxing colleagues, none of them turned up to assist. Oh well, that's that's unfortunate. So um, quite I, unfortunate. I do think, I do think uh, our sports professionals should be given um, better insurance, better life insurance. Exactly, especially for their leave, health. Yes, because when they leave, when they leave the, the limelight, uh, their life tends to dwindle. And for those that don't have money to sustain uh, themselves, they just you know they fall sick and they and they die. It's quite unfortunate. But uh, thank you very much, James Adoye and um, um, Esther Arimiwen. Thank you very much, guys, for you know those those stories to water down the, the serious talk that we've been having <laughs> since morning.
Well, that's it on the show today. Um, do well to subscribe to our channel. It's Voice of the People TV. And follow us on other social media platforms as well at VOPTV Live. I'm Moses Humphrey. Have a beautiful day.